ahead here on this Monday. I'm Brendan Clark. Good evening, everyone. We are glad you're watching. I'm Carol and Murray. Authorities in Goose Creek are providing new details about a domestic related shooting that left a mother and her son dead over the weekend. News News Sophia Radeba joins us live from the Goose Creek Police Department. And Sophia, you spoke with the police chief about what happened, as well as a domestic violence advocate. Hey, Brendan and Carolyn. Yes, you're exactly right. This has been a devastating case for police to process here. They say, especially because it involves a child and a lot of them at the police station have children. But overall, they want people who are experiencing domestic violence to know there's help. Police see so much in a day to day, but this case causing immense pain for the Goose Creek Police Department. We actually have a meeting set up where I have a counselor that's going to come in to offer support to the officers that did respond to that scene. Police say they responded to a call on Water Oak Drive Saturday night around 945. The call was regarding an intoxicated man with a gun holding people hostage inside a home. Hostage negotiators tried to make contact with the man inside, but couldn't. Then we decided to go ahead and breach the home, and it was at that time that we found the victim. Inside the home, police found 43-year-old Tracy McAvoy, her 15-year-old son, and the suspect, who was Tracy's boyfriend, 43-year-old Nicholas Hegwin, dead. Hegwin had been arrested in the fall for a domestic violence charge against McAvoy. Unfortunately, the victim recanted and didn't want to prosecute. So the charge was dropped by the solicitor's office. The victim advocate at the Goose Creek Police Department, Olivia Menjades, says it's especially hard knowing McAvoy and her son could still be alive today if the original charges against Hegwin weren't dropped. Menjades says she wants people in a domestic violence relationship to know there is a way out. Number one thing is you are not alone. If you find yourself in this type of situation, there is a whole community behind you. There's my sister's house who can help with my shelter. They have an overall program, counseling. And there's also resources for domestic violence victims here at the police department. They just say the first step is usually the hardest, but it's asking for help. For now, live in Goose Creek, Sophia Radebaugh, Count on Two.